Challenger itself does that, but especially this TA package. Woo! <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be going over the all-new Dodge Challenger T8. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout-out and link to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah, for giving me some time with this Challenger. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below, so you can check out what they have currently. And then, as always, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have the Natch aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through a six speed manual transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 23 on the highway with power puts, being 375 horsepower at 5,150 RPMs and then 410 pound feet of torque at 4,300 RPMs. And for those of you wondering, these hood pins are actually pretty easy to operate. You literally can just stick them in, <laughs> it's pretty simple. Now, before we go to the front end, I do mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood, it is matte black, which looks so cool. You guys can see the hood vent there in the center and then the hood pins as well. And then popping down below, you guys can see the daytime running lights there, which also look really distinctive. Notice the grill's all blacked out. You actually have fog lights here. And yes, this does still have the front splitter protectors on. But putting it all together, aside from my ugly shadow, this is such a cool looking car. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 245, 45, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here with the design on the wheels, I think it looks really cool. I love the metallic gray. And then yes, this does also come with Brembo brakes. So you got quite a bit of stopping power with this TA package. You got the giant TA decal here on the side that matches coloration to the hood. And if you guys are wearing this color, it's called Smoke Show. And putting it all together, I mean, pretty cool looking, am I right? And then here's our key fob. You guys can see we've got the unlock function, the lock function, the opening here for the trunk Dodge logo there in the back. So we'll just press this a couple times and it pops right open. And popping into the trunk area, this is one of the big benefits of the Challenger. It's practical for a muscle car, decent sized opening and decent sized trunk, that's for sure. And then when you're all done, just plop it down. You guys can see the matte black spoiler here and then notice it says, well, if the camera will focus on it, Challenger TA. And then you got the signature Challenger taillights here, parking sensors at the bottom, and then pretty aggressive exhaust tip covers. And putting it all together, I think this is a really good looking car. I mean, it looks like a muscle car should. Now popping over to the door panel, you guys can see all of the padding and then also down below with the stitching. We've got our window controls here. Windows are automatic. Mirror adjustments as well. And then we do have memory seat functionality, Harman Kardon sound system, and then blind spot monitoring for the mirror. Now I'm not gonna pop into the rear seats, but you guys can see we've got this cool like mix of Alcantara and a little bit of leather trim. Um, you can fit adults in the back of the rear of the Challenger. You can't see the same for a Mustang or Camaro. Now going over the front seat, you guys can see TA logo right there. And then notice with the Alcantara, it's perforated down below, really cool leather trim. And then the seat is partially power adjustable, partially manually adjustable. We got our three pedal layout. And look how fancy those pedals look. Light control just up above. And then the steering wheel is power adjustable. Now here is the steering wheel. You guys can see really nice leather trim all around and the nose perforated here on the sides and get a slightly better grip. Radio controls in the back. We do have cruise control, some controls for the center stack, voice command, phone controls as well, and then turn signal slash windshield wiper stock. Beautiful custom gauges here in the center. Definitely love the uh, white. It just stands out quite a bit. Actually, it kind of looks more smoke showy to me. I wonder if the gauges just match the uh, exterior color. But anyways, we can scroll through some different menus here. The cool thing is performance tabs. So you can see different bits of performance information on the Challenger. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and resolution is pretty good. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, sorry about the glare, it's just the time of day that I am filming. But anyways, we've got heated and cooled seats. Response time is great with the screen. You also have your climate control set up. Um, and we also have the super track pack, which lets us go through the drive modes. We have our line lock, which is basically just a burnout mode. And then you have your launch control, which is basically a second burnout mode because this car has so much power, not enough tire. There you go. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do about this. I'm sorry guys. But anyways, this is basically our analog radio control area and it has like your sport mode, super track pack and then climate control set up too. And then here is the shifter for the manual transmission. You can see super notchy and that's one of the big things about Tremex. They're just so good. And then over and all the way up, that is the reverse lockout if you guys are wondering. We've got a couple of cup holders right here and then you guys can see 
lots of storage space and some charging ports. Look at the stitching that goes across and then also continues onto the dash as well. And this is Challenger there. Nice glove box. And then you got the sunglass holder here at the top and then you guys can see we've got a sunroof as well. So here's our window sticker for this TA. You guys can see um, all of the equipment that's added to this particular one. It's pretty fully loaded. Basic must be 39,000, but once you add the whole TA package and everything, bumps it up to $56,240. Wow, crikey. Okay, let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, there's two of blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off, and we're gonna throw this right in sport mode because you know, we ain't playing around today, folks. Um, but yeah, I really like this package. I remember when I you know, first started working and selling Dodges, that uh, this is one of the cars that I thought was really cool to sell because you know, it's just very uh, heritage-y. I guess that's the best way to put it definitely appeals to a particular demographic that likes the old school muscle cars. The Challenger itself does that, but especially this TA package. Woo! <laughs> I was uh, barely on the throttle there. It is, this says 48 degrees. That is a complete lie. It's like 30 something degrees. You can see it's starting to drop. I was like not even, I was barely, barely on the throttle there. Wow, <laughs> this car. Oh, that's, that, just, that just shows you. Uh, with these uh, rear-wheel drive cars with manual transmissions, you can have you can have some fun with them, even if it's completely on accident. I hope I don't get in trouble for that. That was I was I was not like I was not intentional whatsoever. But other than that, super notchy. I mean, just look at that, just right into gear. So good. I just realized this has summer performance tires on it. Of course, it's going to do that. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Okay. It's basically, uh, if you guys don't, if you guys have never driven a car with summer performance tires in the cold, it's basically like being on hockey pucks. That's the best way to describe it. Like, you just, you just don't get any traction. You literally just get no traction whatsoever. And, <laughs> and the thing is, it's not like the tire squealing lack of traction. It's just like, it lit, the tires just like are, they're like not even, it's like they don't even touch the surface. They just kind of like float above the surface. It's always, uh, it's an interesting experience. If you've ever been off-roading, it's kind of like driving on sand. That's the best, That's I think that's like the closest uh, equivalent that I can give to it. Um, but anyways, other stuff. Um, seat comfort's really good. That's a big plus. Um, the car's comfortable in general. The suspension's really comfortable. Like this is just a good car. And this transmission, by the way, is so good. Like I don't personally own a manual car right now. And like, I can just jump into one of these challengers and just be super comfortable with it right away. Like it's super easy to drive. Um, they've done a great job with that. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna lightly get into the throttle here. <laughs> Gotta love that sound. Gotta love that sound. So, oh yeah. V8 power, you gotta, it's just, sounds so good. And again, this transmission really makes the experience. Don't get me wrong, I love the eight speed automatic that's in the Challengers, but if you know how to drive manual, this is the route to go. It's just so much more thrilling. And it, I don't know, like even when you're not driving fast, it still is such a fun experience. I feel like in the automatic, I feel like I have to push the car to have fun, ring out the V8. Whereas in this, I feel like I can just cruise and just listen to the low rumble of the V8 and just go through the gears. And yeah, I, I think it's great. So yeah, if you happen to have the funds, get one of these before they're gone. Oh, it's so torquey. So this thing is I can short shift and slide all over the place when I short shift. Um, but also, <laughs> I can short shift and still have fun. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the TA package. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this Dodge Challenger TA. Again, a huge shout out and thanks to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah for giving some time with this Challenger. Check out their in the description down below. I'll see ya.